Uh, first of all, congratulations to Timmy on the victory. What does a win like this mean? What sort of statement does it send that you're able to, you know, withstand so many, so many areas of pressure, so many counterattacks from a Washington, from a very good Washington team, not to mention make up from a from a slow start. What does it? What does a win like this mean in the grand scheme of things? Yeah, it's a that's a good locker room uh, win. You know what I mean? You go in there and you feel good about uh, winning the game. Um, we did enough. We made enough plays. Sabrina made a lot of plays to help us win this game. Um, but you know, we go in there and we're happy we won. We have a lot to work on still. Obviously, we don't like the way we started. We didn't play our best game, but man, we dug deep, made plays when it was important. Um, and you know, that's something that we can definitely, you know, grow from and um, be happy about. Courtney, when you had the uh, when you had the game time shot. <coughs> Was was it was it basically how you drew that up, or did you have to improvise? And what were your thoughts on earning that redemption after the two shots at the foul line didn't go your way previously? Um, yeah, that was the play. It was you know we had backside action of course for, um, but you know uh, we want the best shot available, and I saw a wide open layup, so I just took it. Thank you, uh, Coach. Um, what'd you tell the team when they? Uh, what'd you tell the team at the first time out when it was a thirteen nothing ball game? And what can you say about the resiliency? and resourcefulness of this squad coming back from a game like this? I don't know. You guys remember what I said? I don't. <laughs> well, I think I said, wait the uh, something out and something like that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like, come on. What are we doing? We're not executing anything. We're not playing. They're up. They're competing harder than us. And that's... But credit to these guys. Like I said, they're, they're, they're great. I mean, I don't have to tell them that, but I've just got to try and get them going a little bit. And, um, and, and it wasn't a pretty game. We didn't play great. We didn't execute to the best of our ability, but we found a way to win. And I think that shows a lot of character of this team. We kind of maintained our poise and, and pulled one out. It could have went in either way. We know that. Final one for me, uh, Sabrina. Um, what does a win like this say about the team chemistry you guys are trying to build? Because right before you hit one of your go-ahead three-pointers, there was a moment where it looks like you were going to put the inbound in. Stewie yanked you out of there. She got the ball to you, and then you, then you put in another go-ahead shot. So what does a win like this say about the chemistry you guys have been trying to seek as you work through uh, new names, new, new, new talents on this roster? We stayed together, um, especially you know weathering the storm in that first quarter. Um, you know, a lot of the time in the past, this team has just crumbled, but I think we understand um, what we're playing for. We're playing for one another, and we were able to dig ourselves out of that hole, and that entire second half, we really felt in control, and so I think it says a lot about the chemistry that we're, we're building when, when times get tough, when we hit adversity, being able to stay together, together continuing to communicate um, and kind of weather the storm, and that's exactly what we did. And when you do that through times of adver adversity, when things are clicking, that just comes naturally. And so late, late in the game, we were able to figure out our spots, who we want to get the ball to, and just reading. We had a lot of options, um, whether it was going to be me, Stewie, uh, but Nigel played an incredible game for us um, defensively and offensively as well. And um, just having so many weapons, being able to use everyone um, to help us win is, is what we did tonight. This was a, a team effort that everyone played their their ass off. Appreciate your time and say congrats. Sabrina, when you talked about chemistry pregame, you had said that you think the growth of chemistry really came in those moments of adversity. So when you're going through all of that adversity today, what kind of communication was going on that maybe wasn't there early in the season? Um, I think, you know, just vocalizing. Um, I think there was a lot of times where um, we picked people's heads up, people that weren't hitting, hitting shots. Um, and that was, that, that's a time where it's like, hey, you got this, we're, we're on to the next. Even when we were down in that fourth quarter, there was just this belief within us that we, we can do this um, and we can accomplish this. And, and that carried over into overtime and the game kind of was going back and forth, but we really stuck together. And I think it shows a lot about the growth of this team, especially this early on in the season to be able to have built that, it's gonna take us a long way. Courtney, what was really working early was you found Panaja Laney a lot on those cuts, and that those were some of your early points. Why was that working so well today? Is that a chemistry that you've had with her, something you've worked on? Um, yeah, it's it's part of our, you know, what we're looking for. You know, we know that the their guards are really aggressive. They play um, maybe sometimes over help, or you know, they're they're kind of focused on the ball, and so she does a really good job of knowing when to space in the corner. Um, she's really been hitting her corner threes, but knowing when to cut at the same time. Um, you know, that's that's something to just keep the, the defense honest. You know, obviously this is a really good defensive team, so we got to pick our spots and attack them where we can. 
Hi, all. Congrats on the win. <clears throat> Sandy, first for you. What is an example that sticks out to you about how you thought this team was able to dig deep this afternoon? Um, look, when they come into a timeout, I mean, they're all engaged. Okay, what are we going to do? There's, com there's conversation going on with each other. They're talking. That's what you need. It's when it's really quiet, that's when you're in trouble. <laughs> Because it means that they're they're not locked in, or connected where we need to, and I think, you know, we can mess up, but it's like lift someone up or tell someone to do something better. You know, that's the accountability factor, and I think, like I said, that's built from our culture because we are a family, and we're going to have some tough moments. But I think that was a key for me. And, and another one for you, Sandy. Both coaches' challenges were used this afternoon. How, what have you made of this new rule this year so far and, and what do you think needs to maybe be changed to it? I think if you win a challenge, you should get uh, to, to another challenge. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think that's how it should go. I think that's a really simple thing. We don't have as many timeouts as the NBA. Mm. So it's really, it's really, it's a strategy. You're like, oh shit, probably. And by the end, it's like, oh, I should have kept it again because there's an out of bounds call that went away against us. But, you know, you just try and make a calculated uh, guess sometimes, like, will I need it, will I won't need it? Um, yeah, that's what I think. No, I think that's an easy change and we could do that. I appreciate that. And Courtney, for you, what what's an example of how this team played with a little more heart today? Well, the fact that we were able to win <clears throat> is the best example because we didn't play our best game. Um, started out 09, you know, that's tough. Um, but we dug deep and weren't hitting, a lot of us weren't hitting shots and, you know, we still found a way to win. That's, that's the biggest example you have. And finally, Sabrina, for you, you alluded to this, that this team last year lost, I think it was three times in overtime. You probably remember how that felt. What sort of do you think was the difference between those times last year and now being on the other side of it this year? Well, a little different team, um, which helps, but I think just the experience and the poise that we all have. Um, you know, we have veterans on this team that have won at the highest level, have been in every position possible, and um, being able to have that experience under, under your belt just helps you in these moments when you go through this understanding of what it looks like to grind out a win and the little plays you have to make and not getting too down. Um, you know, they got, they made great plays in overtime as well. It's not like we came in and, um, you know, es established ourselves. It went back and forth, you know, a lot of the way and it was just staying consistent with um, what we wanted to do offensively and defensively. And at the end of the day, we made plays down the stretch that helped us win that game. Yeah. So, um, you know, I know Stewie's often yells first option in uh, clutch situations for ATOs. And she had a tough shooting game while you were starting to heat up late. Um, during that stretch, especially towards the end of the game, was there any point at which you sort of consciously said to yourself that, you know, having the hot hand, you had to be more aggressive, you had to hunt your own shot? No. Um, you know, I know what I'm capable of doing. Um, I know the shots that I'm capable of making. And um, just continuing to read the defense and, um, take the shots that's open and they went under on two screens and I was able to get good looks at the basket and um, we had a good ATO uh, elevator screen that I was able to get and, and get a good shot to go in and so I think that's the beauty of this team is just understanding all the weapons that we had and being able to play off one another and um, obviously the gravity of having Stewie, Sloop and I on the floor and pick and roll action and triangle action, it's just tough to guard. You kind of just have to pick your poison. And although, you know, Stewie didn't have the best shooting night, she hit some of the biggest shots of the night for us in order for us to win. And so um, that's a testament to her and, you know, what a great player she is because it's not always going to be so easy and that effortless to score, but you just got to stick with it, keep your head down and working. And that's what she did. And she made shots to help us win the game. Thanks. And then Sandy, just wondering what went into the decision to have KT at the four over uh, JJ at the end, what you thought of her defense? Uh, we that. just, you know, JJ was, you know, probably a little bit out of sorts here, and I just went with a little bit more toughness and uh, uh, versatility, and that's what KT gives us and allows us to switch a little bit better in some of our action with her at the four. Thanks. Brian. Hi, everybody. Um, Sandy, on the night, you guys helped Aladon to just 6 of 15 shooting and made everything really difficult for her. What do you think was working best for the defense in, in terms of slowing her down and making it harder? 
Yeah, we just tried to crowd her as much as she can. She's a wonderful player and, um, you know, we tried to not foul her and send her to the foul line. She gets a lot of free throws in that regard and, um, you know, well, I think we, we did a good job of her. We didn't do a great job of some of the others, um, <laughs> but that's something, that's why we're going to keep learning. Thank you. And Sabrina, after the initial burst from Washington, it looked like you guys started to sort of figure out their defense bit by bit as the game went on. What do you think started to work best for the group as you guys started making your comeback? Uh, well, you know, well, we got stops defensively, um, and that helps us get easy baskets and transition. Um, you know, continuing to move the ball from side to side and um, creating opportunities for one another when we get in the paint and we can kick. Marine had a big three. Um, you know, in the corner that continue to lift us up, um, you know, sloop, just continuing to cut and move without the ball and lead us at the one position. Um, it really was everyone coming in and, and we really just chipped away. But I think for us, it's just slowing down, figuring out what defense teams are in because um, they're going to junk it up and, you know, throw whatever it is at us. And I think we just have to stay composed and get the ball moving and figure out what our best options are and what our best option was in the first might not be what it is in the fourth. So I think it's being able to move um, with flow in the game. Thank you. And Courtney, in the last two wins, you guys didn't trail at all as you want going away each time. Tonight you guys came back from your biggest deficit of the season. What do you think a win like this will do as far as giving the group confidence when going against elite teams and if you start solely into the games? Well, I think it's big time growth for us. You know, we ended up winning, I mean, with overtime four of the five quarters, you know, which is pretty good. Obviously, we don't like our start, but, um, you know, we can grow off that and, and know that we have the ability to come back. I think that we felt it, especially in the second half, like we believed that we were going to win the game. You could just see it in everybody's eyes, even when things weren't going that smooth or that well for us. Um, we still felt like we were in it and we were going to take care of business. So I think that is, is major growth for us as a group. Hey coach, congrats on the win. Just wanted to ask on the adjustments the team's able to make um, early in the season. You guys lost to Atlanta, you came back and beat them pretty good. First game of the season, you lost to Washington. Offense was kind of rough, and then you guys were able to pull out this victory. So, how much does it show? How much of a morale boost is this? How much does it show to how much team can make adjustments? Yeah, I, I, I know I said to my husband at half time walking back Who? to the locker room. Who? My um, assistant coach. <laughs> 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 I have never heard Ever. her call him that. <laughs> no one knows it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> They're married, everyone. Yeah, we are married, but no one, no one, you wouldn't know that we're actually married. No, that's yeah. why. I like, forgot for a second. <laughs> my I'm so sorry. And, and I just said, you know, I said this game is. It, these are the games where you learn the most, isn't it? We need. To, you go through some mud. You're gonna. It's a a great learning experience, and and we fought our way back in that second quarter. But it was more like this is a. That's a tough team. Because of the, the, their athleticism and their guard play and Daladon and just how they keep coming at them. And, and hopefully Austin's okay. It didn't look very nice, but, you know, it's a tough break for him. But, um, you know, we just, it's, it, it's a learning. That's, you know, for me, it's like, well, we've been here, we've done that, we know what we need to do. If you have actually been, it's like when we're up by, we've lost a game where we've been up by 17. That's a learning experience. You know how it feels. So I can say, you know, when that happened, you know, okay, what were you thinking of then? We'll change it, you know. So it's, it's a great learning tool. Thank you. Not that I want to do it very often. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Courtney. Hey, hi. <laughs> on that final defensive possession, Kayla Thornton made two stops, first on EDD and then at Maisha right before the buzzer. She was a team best plus eight on the afternoon and just continues to do everything that the team asked of her. So just what do you make of her effort, especially in those final seconds of overtime? Yeah, it's that's what that's what KT brings for us. Um, she makes winning plays, um, and it's hard to keep her off the floor when you're in um, games like this, you know, um, because she does impact the the game in so many ways, um, and she really embraces that. Um, it's so important for us, and uh, you know, um, yeah, she's just she, that's what she does. That's what she's at when she's at her best, and uh, you know, we're lucky to have her here. Thank you. And Sabrina, the Mystics play a very aggressive perimeter defense, as we've talked about a lot. Uh, but you were still able to find some openings off ball and with some of the deep threes. Just how were you able to find success against this team? Uh, I think it just in our offense. Um, you know, the offense provides opportunities for us to just be able to make reads, um, use obviously great pick and roll action, great pick and roll players. 
um, or pick and pop players to be able to get an opportunity to score as a ball handler um, or just off ball, continuing to find windows, playing off slew and continuing to find openings to be able to spread the floor. And that's what I was able to do. Um, and with them so worried about three point shooters, we were able to get downhill and get in the lane and um, you know, Sloot did that a lot. And so I think continuing to work through that, obviously the ball is not going to go in every night from the three point line. Um, but I think it's continuing to trust in that and get to my spots. And, um, same with B, she went four for six and that's huge for us. Her ability to space the floor and knock down those shots consistently, um, are what we rely on her to do. And she did, you know, great tonight. We'll take one more on zoom from Erica, Erica. Thank you so much. Uh, Coach, I wanted to ask you a little bit about Brianna Stewart and her leadership. It's already been mentioned that she didn't have the night problem that she would have wanted offensively. Um, but I do think that there were times in watching the game where you kind of felt her really kind of huddled the team together. Um, what impact do you think that has on the, on the growth that you say a game like this can have for this team? Yeah, no, it's massive. And we've got multiple leaders, but you know, Stewie's one of the best there is. And, and, and we said, this, this is a part of um, you know, her responsibility. And, and she knows it doesn't matter. Like she's not in herself. She knows she's having a tough one. It doesn't matter. She can impact us in so many different ways. And, and that shows a lot about how classy she is, isn't she? Um, she's all about the team. It's all about the winning. Um, I still went to her at the end because I trust her. You know, and, and I think she's been a great leader for us. I think her, Sloot and Sub, you know, B, they all have their moments. But, you know, she, she's a competitor. She has this really strong will to win and she's going to bring people along. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. Thank